Audiokurs Anfänger Lektion 4 Das ist mein Zimmer It's Friday night. Freitagabend. And Philip's party has begun a little while ago. He is welcoming his guests at the door. Hallo, komm herein. Schön, dass du da bist. This means, hello, come in. I'm happy you're here. Schön, dass du da bist. There are quite a lot of people. Viele Leute. Actually, more people than Philip had expected. And again, the doorbell rings. This time, it's Julia. Who? Wer? Julia, from Philip's German class. Julia aus Philip's Deutsch Kurs. She has brought a friend. Eine Freundin. Her name is Marie. Ihr Name ist Marie. We will listen as Philip greets the two girls and shows them his apartment. Before we'll listen to their conversation, here are the new words you will need to understand the dialogue. You will hear the English word or a short sentence. Then you will hear the German translation. Afterwards, you have a moment to say the German word or sentence yourself. After the pause, you'll hear the German word or sentence once more. Here we go. Los geht's. The apartment. Die Wohnung. Die Wohnung. This is a big apartment. Das ist eine große Wohnung. Das ist eine große Wohnung. Square meters. Quadratmeter. Quadratmeter. Really beautiful. Wirklich schön. Wirklich schön. A little tour. Eine kleine Tour. Eine kleine Tour. The kitchen. Die Küche. Die Küche. I'll already go to the kitchen. Ich gehe schon mal in die Küche. Ich gehe schon mal in die Küche. The hallway. Der Flur. Der Flur. Right. Rechts. Rechts. Our living room. Unser Wohnzimmer. Unser Wohnzimmer. My room. Mein Zimmer. Mein Zimmer. Very comfortable. Sehr gemütlich. Sehr gemütlich. And now? Und jetzt? Und jetzt? The best. Das Beste. Das Beste. My balcony. Mein Balkon. Mein Balkon. A glass. Ein Glas. Ein Glas. Now let's listen to the dialogue. Hören wir nun den Dialog. Hallo, Julia. Schön, dass du da bist. Hi, Philipp. Das ist meine Freundin Marie. Oh, hallo, Marie. Komm herein. Ich bin Philipp. Hallo. Wow, das ist eine große Wohnung. Ja, 80 Quadratmeter. Die Wohnung ist wirklich schön. Machen wir eine kleine Tour? 
Ja, sehr gerne. Ich gehe schon mal in die Küche. Ja, klar, die Küche ist da hinten. So, das ist also der Flur. Und hier rechts ist unser Wohnzimmer. Oh, das ist ja groß. Und das ist mein Zimmer. Ah, sehr gemütlich. Und jetzt das Beste, mein Balkon. Super. Du, ich habe eine Flasche Wein. Trinken wir ein Glas zusammen? Sehr gerne. Let's now turn to some grammatical points. Do you remember what Philip said was the best about his room? Richtig. Right. That's his balcony. What exactly did he say? Und jetzt das Beste. Mein Balkon. Mein Balkon. My balcony. The word my is a possessive article. A possessive article tells you who the object belongs to. As the name possessive article tells you, it's a kind of article. In the last unit, you've learned that every noun has an article in German. Do you remember the indefinite article? Richtig. The indefinite article is ein for masculine and neuter nouns and eine for feminine nouns. Remember these nouns. Ein Bahnhof. Eine Flasche. Ein Problem. Now, possessive articles work exactly the same way. In fact, mein even rhymes with ein, doesn't it? So what you need to know is whether a noun is masculine, feminine, or neuter. Here are some words from this unit. Der Balkon. Das Zimmer. Die Wohnung. Now let's use the possessive article mein with these nouns. It's mein for masculine and neuter nouns and meine for feminine nouns. You will hear the German word with a definite article again. Then you have a moment to think of the correct form of mein in combination with that noun. After a short pause, you will hear the noun with a possessive article. Der Balkon Mein Balkon Das Zimmer Mein Zimmer Die Wohnung Meine Wohnung Very good. Sehr gut. Of course, sometimes you'll want to say that something is not yours but belongs to someone else. Just like in English, we have a separate possessive article for every person. So, here's a list. First, you will hear the English possessive article, then the German forms. First, the form for masculine and neuter, then the one for feminine nouns. Here we go. Los geht's. Your, singular. Dein. Deine. His. Sein. Seine. Her. Ihr. Ihre. Its. Sein. Seine. Our. Unser. Unsere. Your. Plural. Euer. Eure. Their. Ihr. Ihre. Maybe you've noticed it. Again, we have forms that are identical for different persons. One is the possessive article her, ihr, ihre, and their, also ihr, ihre. The other is the possessive article 
his, sein, seine, and its, also, sein, seine. Maybe that's a little confusing, but think of it this way. Actually, you don't have to learn quite so many forms. Let's review them, shall we? You will hear the English form. Then you have a moment to say the German forms. After a short pause, you will hear the correct answer. My Mein Meine Your Singular Dein Deine His Sein Seine Her Ihr Ihre Its Sein Seine Our Unser Unsere You plural Euer Eure There Ihr Ihre What remains is to combine these possessive articles with nouns. You will hear a noun with a definite article to tell you whether it's masculine, feminine, or neuter. Then you will hear a possessive article. Then you have a moment to combine the two. After a short pause, you'll hear the correct answer. Here is an example. Das Zimmer. Dein. Dein Zimmer. Now over to you. Los geht's. Die Küche. Unser. Unsere Küche. Das Wohnzimmer. Euer. Euer Wohnzimmer. Der Balkon. Sein. Sein Balkon. Der Name. Ihr. Ihr Name. Das Glas. Mein. Mein Glas. Die Wohnung. Dein. Deine Wohnung. Very good. Sehr gut. By the way, Philip's party was a smashing success. He and Marie had a lot of fun together. They've arranged to meet again. This time, they want to go on a tour through Berlin. Eine Tour durch Berlin. Are you curious? Neugierig? Then listen to the next unit.